Hi everybody, it's Claire back with another art journal video and this time it is day 16 and 17 of the Art by Marlene stencil advent calendar. Um, so as you can see, just getting the stencil for day 16 um, and obviously cutting the tab off that envelope as well, which I use later. Um, this is a really cool little stencil and so I decided I would do some heat embossing through the stencil. I'm going to get some of the embossing ink onto a sponge and pop it through the stencil. This is a relatively new technique. I think I did this one of the other days um, and I love it. I never ever thought about embossing through stencils until so I saw Marlene doing this as I said the other day. This is going to be something that I... <laughs> I um, probably keep coming back to. Um, it works really, really well. And it's a great way to get that first layer onto your work, whether it's a journal page, a tag or whatever you're creating. Um, and of course, you don't have to do the whole stencil. You could just do parts of it. Um, but yeah, like I say, it's a great way to get that first layer onto your work. So I'm just pulling that all the way down the stencil. I am covering the whole stencil with this um, just so that I've got that really dark contrast. I'm going to use black embossing powder. Um, it's just a generic one that I got off um, Amazon, I think. You can just about see the uh, stenciling there. So I'm just tipping my black powder on. And then I grabbed my tweezers just to pick up the uh, tag because it was it had disappeared. And you can see, I give it a little flick. Look at that. It's amazing. It's so effective. And then, of course, when it um, gets heated, um, all the magic happens and you can kind of watch it turning and setting. Um, I just love it. It's, it is, it's like being a magician. So once that was heat set, it takes a while for the powder and the heat tool to get to the right temperature to set it, but it does work. Um, yeah, really cool. That was a great starting point for my tag. And then I decided I wanted to pull some colour into the white areas. I mean, this would work really nicely as a monochrome black and white tag. You could do this as your background and then add your images on the top. It wouldn't really need anything else on there because it is quite dramatic. But I wanted to have a pop of colour um, behind. So once it had cooled down, I decided to use my Distress Oxide inks with my Funky Fossil brushes. Um, just to pull some colour down the tag and of course I am going for rainbow colours. I'm going to do those in stripes um, and there's been a lot of rainbow colours going off in this um, advent calendar but you wouldn't expect anything else would you really from from me so <laughs> yeah. I'm just cleaning off my brush um, on that paper towel at the side I have brushes that I use for different colour groups, so I kind of tend to stick to them. That's why some of the brushes are larger than others. Um, that's just that's just kind of how it goes. Um, so yeah, and just selecting colours that kind of work and play with the rainbow and just pulling those down the tag. And you can see those are settling into the white areas that aren't embossed. Um, so one thing I did do after, which I'm not sure I've left on the video, was I did just get a piece of kitchen towel and just kind of polish the tag because some of the distress oxides had gone onto the embossing and just kind of um, dampened it down a little bit, made it a little bit hazy. So it kind of brought that uh, the sharpness back to it. I just added some white splatters and stuck the tab on. And then just a super quick one, really. These bold and bright stickers from Marlene are just so great for um, instant focal points there's no glue needed you can just stick them right where you want them to be here i've just snipped off some of the white on one side and then i decided i would doodle on the um, rainbow so i'm just pulling some sketchy lines over the lines where the colors meet and then i'm going to do some doodling details onto those as well just to um, add a little bit more interest onto the image I am using a, oh, hang on, let me just try and find one. It's a Pilot GTEC C4 
really really lovely fine nib on it and it's great for doing little doodle details like this um, so yeah it was really easy to doodle into these smaller spaces And then I'm just adding a few more little focal points onto my tag as well, just a couple of hearts. And then I would be looking for a quote to add on there too. Um, one thing I have done with a lot of my quotes this time is just snip them up so that they can fit into the spaces that I've got left. Um, and I really like how this turned out because it's got those lovely elements of colour and contrast, the black and white. There we go. So that was day 16. Nice and easy, really, and a fairly quick tag to create. So on to day 17, um, I'm loving how this little book is starting to fill up um, with all the tags. This was day 17, um, and I'm just going to chop the top off there to add on to my tag later. It's so tempting, isn't it, to peek at the other days, but I haven't. I haven't looked at them yet, so I'm being very good. OK, so I had a little bit of a think about this one. And one thing that I have tried to do is to use all the stencil on my tag um, or make sure that the stencil is kind of like the main focal point of the tag, really, because that's what it's about. So I decided I would just stencil this on to my tag. I'm using um, lovely pink and purple from Amsterdam Acrylic. And I'm just kind of blending these colours around the pattern on the tag. And then I'm going to introduce a little bit of turquoise as well. Um, just to um, get that pattern on there. And I'm going to repeat it down at the bottom of the tag too. So it is like a repeating pattern. And this ends up being quite striking because of these lovely colours. These are three of my favourite colours. The pink, the purple and the turquoise. Um, against the white background of the tag really pop they work really nicely then i'm repeating the same process at the bottom of the tag as well just to pull that repeating pattern down the tag using the same colors and then once it was dry i then spent a little bit of time just outlining those shapes that were on the tag So here I'm using a fountain pen, which has got a waterproof ink in it. Um, I grabbed this one because um, I know that the ink in this fountain pen is waterproof and it won't run. I knew that I was going to add a, wa a watery wash of colour over the tag, um, but I didn't want the outlining to run. So I grabbed my fountain pen. It's a little bit like one that Jane Davenport produces, but I didn't get mine from there. I um, found it on Amazon and I think the waterproof, I think it's carbon ink that you can use in it and it's kind of waterproof. So you can see here I'm just outlining all those little shapes. It did take a while, but I did like how it kind of popped them out from the background a little bit more. But as you can imagine, it took quite a while. And about halfway through, I kind of thought, what on earth am I doing this for? I'm literally going to be here till next Christmas. <laughs> But yeah, it's OK. Just keep watching something and it's quite a meditative thing to do, isn't it? Doing um, outlining things like this. 
but the effect I was quite pleased with once it was finished. So I did that on the whole of the tag. Okay, so then I've grabbed Night and I'm just watering it down here. I'm going to use it as a colour wash over the background of my tag just to get rid of that white background. And it does change the colours a little bit, but not too much. And it's just, it's such a pretty colour that, like a really deep purpley blue. Um, some white splatters as well. And then obviously that gets dried. And then I've grabbed this pad from um, Art by Marlene with collage, black and white collage paper in it. And I've got this face from in there. And then I've grabbed another piece from inside there, which has got, um, I think it's got a bit of text on it, um, to cut a, a body shape out of it, which I'm then going to use to create the idea of a body. I'm not going for anything too technical here, just a square body. Um, and that's going to get stuck on like that. And then I'm going to add a heart on there as well. OK, so there's just a piece of collage paper that was lying around. I've got all sorts of scraps and bits left over. Um, so this gets stuck on to the figure and then a sticky quote, which is also in pink. And then that pulls the pink elements out from the tag as well. And then I'm just going to add my quote on. I quite like that it's in pink because it does pull those elements together. Nice, simple tag. And using colour wash over a background really can alter how your um, background can look, but quite effective. Then I just outlined those words as well, just to make them stand out a little bit more. And that was pretty much it. So this is day 16 and 17 for the Art by Marlene stencil advent calendar. I am having so much fun with this calendar. I'm really enjoying it. A little bit of daily art practice and it's lovely. Um, so thanks for watching and I'll see you back again for the next day.